Welcome back to Team Fast Eddie and HPIBajaTutorials.com. Today we're going to show you how to install the Bryce Arnold CVDs onto your HPI Baja. And it's going to be the same procedure for the HPI Baja 5B or 5T. They both install the same way. Uh, if you haven't yet watched our previous video on how to build the Bryce Arnold CVDs, you may want to watch that first. Make sure you did it properly, and then come on back and watch this video on how to install them. They are fairly simple to install. We're going to go ahead and we've got our, our Baja 2.0 propped up here on our Team Fast Eddie work stand. We're going to go ahead at this point and remove the rear wheel and then we're going to use the wheel wrench we're going to put it back on to the hub assembly and we're going to use our allen wrench and stick it inside and loosen up the screw that holds in the cross pin as a matter of fact we're actually going to completely remove the cross pin screw and take it out just like so because we're going to use that and replace it into the end of the Bryce Arnold Skunk Works CVD. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of uh, Loctite to this before we put it in. Let's go ahead and stick it in the end there and just put it in a few turns so that we know where it is. At this point, we're going to go ahead and remove the cross pin. We just used our little tool to go ahead and push that through. Let's go ahead and save that because we're going to be using it. I'm going to go ahead and pull off the rear hub. We will not be reusing that. Or actually, we will be reusing this. I'm sorry. We're going to go ahead and loosen up the bolt on the top here so that we can drop down the hub assembly. It's a long screw so we like to use our electric screwdriver. And at this point we're going to go ahead and grab the dog bone, the inside boot, and we're just going to go ahead and pull that boot off so that this drops down and it has the dog bone attached to it. We're going to go ahead and push this whole shaft through and take that off. If you're going to be have been running and you want to go ahead and replace your bearings with Team Fast Eddie Pro Series bearings, this is a great chance to do that on the rears. You just very simply just reach through and press this bearing out here and replace it. And then you can also replace your front bearing very easily. We're going to go ahead and install the Bryce Arnold, I should say the Skunk Works CVD. I'm going to go ahead and slide the rear stub axle through, just like so. going to use some Team Fast Eddy dog bone and transmission grease and go ahead and put some more grease back into the outdrive cup. Going to insert the end of the dog bone in and slide the boot over the outdrive cup which looks like at the moment it's going to be the most difficult part of this whole job. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and slide that over. And put the screw back in. Now we're 
we're going to go ahead and put the rear hub back on. If you want to go ahead at this point and add a set of dark sole rear axle extenders, great time to do it since it's all apart. Going to go ahead and slide that back over. Line it up, put our pin back through, make sure that it's even. Let's go ahead and check and there's a little bit of play in and out on this unit and again this is a great time to add some Team Fast Eddie shims to go ahead and shim everything up in here to get as little play as possible. Earlier we put the cross pin retaining screw back into the center. We're going to go ahead and retighten that. We're going to put our wheel wrench over, stick in our wrench here and go ahead and tighten that up. Take it off. Go ahead and reinstall our tire. And we're all set to go. I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same process on the second side. And we've installed our Skunk Works CVDs. Very simple, very straightforward, and a very good upgrade. We appreciate you tuning in to Team Fast Eddie and HPIBajaTutorials.com. If you hadn't had a chance to check out the rest of our tutorials, please do so by going to HPIBajaTutorials.com or you can also visit our other website, which is a non-forum site that has all of our tutorials listed, and that is BajaPlanet.com.